Scott, the draw has been made. Most of the people have gone home. We're still here. Your immediate thoughts on Dumbarton at home? Yeah, nice to get another home draw. Um, four in a row now, so it's uh, someone smiling on us. I think it's uh, important that we can play at home and uh, have a good look at them now over the next few months. See how they see how they perform and, and watch how they go. We've got a bit of a break from it now, so put it to bed um, and make sure that the league is our priority. And obviously, we've got other games coming up: League Cup, Welsh Cup. So it's nice that it's we've got a couple of months, three months, wherever it is, um, to prepare for it. And what sort of preparation will you do? Come here to Scotland to watch them play, I guess. Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll come up. Um, hopefully, me and Steve will get time to come up and watch them. Um, maybe on a Hopefully on a Saturday when we play on a Friday or whatever. So uh, we'll, we'll plan. We'll have a look at the fixtures and see when we can fit our our trip in. We'll get up on the uh, on the train and, and make sure that we can see them in action. This time last year we drew St Mirren in the semi-final. They weren't doing particularly well at this time. They did then go on to uh, a fantastic run. What about Dumbarton? Is that going to be possible that they could turn their season around? Yeah, you know they're they're a good side in the championship. I've just been talking to one of their players. Says they play football, um, good football inside, play on 3G, so they're used to that surface. So again, you've got a team coming to us that, you know, are, are comfortable on there. It's not going to be an advantage for us. They train on it, they play on it. So it's a stern test again. You know, it's it, you can't fall into the trap that um, where they are in the league. You know, when we play them, they might have improved. They might be up there near the top, like uh, like Saint Mirren were. Saint Mirren were on the up when, when we played them. Uh, obviously, they were fighting off relegation. But they signed some good players, they, they had a bigger budget, a lot bigger budget than what Dumbarton are going to have. They're a part-time team, but uh, nothing's going to be taken for granted on our part. It won't mean anything, of course, on the day, but we've just been looking at the odds by, by, uh, on, on the internet. And TNS are actually the favourites to win the competition at this moment in time. Yeah, which is, which is very nice. Uh, obviously, odds, are, you know, it's, they could change up until, up until the game or whatever. But, uh, if the bookies make us odds on favourites, then uh, you know, so be it. But you know, we, you know, look, look what happened last week against Barrytown. I'm sure we were odds on favourite against them. Uh, it doesn't really mean anything on the day. It's a, it's a semi-final. Uh, the winners go into a final of a, a very good competition. So you've got to, you know, you've got to do your utmost to, to give the opposition respect. You've got to do your homework and you've got to perform on the day. Scott, thank you for your time this afternoon, as always. Thank you.